Hey guys and gals, in this week's episode, what I want to talk about with you is some actual strategy application. So what you see right now is a chart of CIFS. So on CIFS, this is back on February 25th, and this is right at the market open. Now these lines that you see drawn off of these candles are auto support and resistance lines that are calculated based on a code or an indicator that plots lines based on a, a look back period. So as you can see at the top of my screen up here, you can see I use a 14 period look back on a one minute chart. So that's you know kind of the rule of thumb. You can tweak this ever how you want to, but with this with this little code, I found that the 14 period look back on the one minute chart is a pretty good look back period to get faster support and resistance, but still reliable support and resistance to scalp off of. So let's take a look at how this would play out. So I've done some screen recording here of this actual price action. I'm gonna play it back for us and we're gonna watch what happens. So we're gonna look for a morning spike a washout to support, which is this 152 to 158, according to the system. These are the areas we should look for. And then we're going to start accumulating at those areas with risk somewhere below 152. You can define what you would like to do in that, whether you would like to risk at 152, those pre-market lows right there, or you could use it a little bit below 152 and you could say, you know, anything over under 150, you know, in between 152 to 148, I'm still going to be buying and accumulating there. If it breaks 148, I'm going to stop out. I mean, it's parabolic here. We've got 400,000 shares traded on that bar. Now we're pulling back. Okay. We topped out at 199. Here's our washout. So remember, we're looking to accumulate into the 158 to 152 area. And here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. And now you're going to see another support line pop up here in just a second that the system is going to draw. Okay. So now it looks like we're having a little bit of a bounce here. Okay. From the 170s or, or sorry, high 160s up to 180 there. So you could have bought there with anticipation that prior support or prior resistance acts as support, but watch what happens here. You get a 163 line printed now that the system says should be reliable support to, per, to start to enter off of. So there you go. Now you can start accumulating long a little bit. Now we're down to our 158 level from earlier. Remember our risk is below 153. So now we've got our morning washout into the support levels. Now let's see what happens here. 